Weather Authority, always watching and tracking for you from the JES Weather Center. We have two main areas of concern, one right now further to the south and west. We now have a new severe thunderstorm warning in effect for about the next 43 minutes or so for parts of Carroll, Floyd and Patrick counties. It's for this cell right here, pretty much right over Laurel Fork, right along Highway 58, heading a little further north along perhaps Highway 40 going uh, from extreme southwestern parts of Franklin County, also now into parts of Floyd County. So again, we are looking at a new severe thunderstorm warning in effect for Carroll, Floyd and Patrick counties until 6 PM. This heading eastbound at about 30 to 40 miles per hour. Also watching another nasty cell that is moving even quicker. This one's probably moving 35 to 50 miles per hour. Appomattox, the worst of the weather is now done for you and it has shifted more into eastern parts of Appomattox County. We have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect for eastern parts of Appomattox County until 545, but with the way this thing is moving, how fast it's moving, you might be out of here a little bit before 545. Main threats with these severe thunderstorm warnings, heavy rain, thunder, lightning, damaging wind over 50, 60, 60 miles per hour and also quarter to perhaps even at times half dollar size hail. Let's show you the bigger picture here on the entire viewing area. We still have more scattered thunder showers in West Virginia. Those will be pushing in towards the highlands here very, very soon. So you folks in Hot Springs and Covington have had a little bit of a break, but you're going to get I think hit with a couple more thunderstorms here over the next couple of hours or so. Let's uh, show you the regional view. We do have a cold front extending really from the U.S. Canada border all the way south towards the Gulf Coast. This front crosses our neck of the woods tonight. Behind it, high pressure moves in and that will settle our weather down for us here as we head into the day tomorrow. So what we're tracking here, a cold front is going to push to the south of us tomorrow. That's where we're going to see the best chance for showers and thunderstorms heading into the day Friday. South of us towards the Carolinas, also towards Georgia and Florida. High pressure is moving in just in time for the weekend. Our fair weather friend is going to bring us just that Saturday and Sunday. A very, very nice weekend is in store for us. But as we head into next week, what's west comes east. So these showers and thunderstorms towards our nation's heartland will eventually push into our neck of the woods by Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Also, we're going to have a tropical system we're going to be tracking that will likely bring rain towards Florida as we head into Saturday and along the East Coast into, say, Cape Hatteras and Myrtle Beach as we head into the day on Sunday. Let's talk more about that tropical tracker. Potential tropical cyclone number one is soon to become Alex. Alex is going to go through Florida and then head back out into the Atlantic Ocean, going to bring heavy rain and strong thunderstorms into Florida here as we head into this weekend. And that will allow for some rip currents also along the East Coast, really extending from the mid-Atlantic all the way south towards Florida. We will see no rain whatsoever from PTC number one, likely again to become Tropical Storm Alex here very, very soon. Temperatures right now 85 in Roanoke, 83 Lynchburg. You're in the upper 60s to near 70 in Hillsville, Galax and Withville, a little bit warmer in Blacksburg at 78. Let's go zone by zone. High temperatures tomorrow in the NRV, mid to upper 70s. Upper 70s in Clifton Forge and Covington. You're a little bit cooler towards Hot Springs and Monterey. 81 tomorrow. Roanoke, 84 your high temperature in the Lynchburg and south side zones tomorrow. So you're going to be, I think, a little bit warmer to the south and to the east and a little bit cooler to the west. So for tonight, storms fizzle out. Overnight lows anywhere between about 58 and 66. For tomorrow, not as hot, not as humid with clouds decreasing. Highs in the mountains tomorrow, 70s outside the mountains, low to mid 80s. Extended forecast. Weekend looks good. Only a minimal chance for a stray thunder shower or two on Sunday. Better chances for passing thunder showers as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday of next week. Hit or miss activity may linger into Thursday, but what you need to know is after a uh, nice comfortable weekend, it's June after all, the heat and humidity come back next week. So have all your fun this weekend. Yes.